Hi everybody. We have got one more small topic that is energy density. So in the last uh, video we did discuss about the potential energy or energy stored in a capacitor rather than parallel plate capacitor. So taking that into forward we shall derive the energy density for any um, capacitor. So this is our parallel plate capacitor at a separation of D having surface area A. This is positively charged, this is negatively charged. Okay. So the total energy that was stored or um, given by the charger because this all is done by the charger. So total energy that is potential energy U is equal to half c v square now energy density means uh, okay before going to that we shall discuss what is energy density uh, there is a space between the two plates obviously and that space has a shape like of a parallel pipe that is two walls separated at certain distance so there will be like a room these are two walls forget about the forward and backward walls and the ceiling so these are the two side walls so these two side walls must be covering some space and what will be the volume of that space okay we shall find that and the total electrostatic energy simply goes to that space or it resides in that particular space okay so we find we know that the total energy is this much and if you can calculate the volume of that particular region, then total energy divided by the volume between the two plates is energy density. That is energy contained in the capacitor per unit volume is simply known as energy density. That is energy in per unit volume. Nothing else. So volume of the parallel plate pack, pack, uh, capacitor. So what is the volume of the parallel plate capacitor? Okay. Is how much? Area is A and separation is D. So that is the volume. Now as per the definition energy density What is it? A small u is equal to capital U upon the volume. Right? So we shall simply put these values under this volume and then get solve it. Okay, that is half C V square and A into D. Now we shall put the uh, corresponding values that is C equal to is how much first you take half then put the value of the c c is equal to for parallel plate capacitor is epsilon naught a over d this is the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor now what is the volume between uh, sorry voltage between the plates the volume is equal to electric field between the plates multiplied by the distance and its square over area that is volume okay now simplify this half epsilon naught a over d that is e square d square upon a into d so something something cancelling out d d d square so all have been put into boundary for six now one by two epsilon naught e square so remember nothing else is left that is a small u is equal to half epsilon naught and e square so this is energy density depends on what the permittivity of the space or medium between the two plates and the electric field 
an electric field depends on what the total charge on the plates because an e is equal to sigma over epsilon 0 or sigma is equal to charge over area into epsilon 0 so these all that is small u depends on what capital q so we have to deal with this this is the electrostatic energy density remember this will work out even in the chapter number 8 when we shall be discussing about the nature of electromagnetic waves so this is simply the energy stored in the play and the space between the two plates when the medium is vacuum and this is known as energy density that is energy stored per unit volume okay